Hi everybody, and welcome to Leading Edge Detailing. Very brief video today to talk about water spots um, and the two different types of water spotting that you can get on your car now. Uh, this Subaru has booked in for a full detail. Michael, if you want to do a little bit of a close up of the side we haven't touched yet. Uh, this car has been washed and thoroughly clayed and we tried to do a uh, little bit of a pass with a medium product and pad combination to to remove the water spots and I want to explain what this car has it's not the only car that has this kind of a problem and what makes it more difficult to resolve than normal so in terms of water spotting there are two types thank you compressor for stopping there are two types of water spotting there is the mineral deposit which is uh, when water especially tap water or a product has dried up on your car and has deposited a mineral that the bubble has, or the water droplet has dried and has deposited a mineral on your paint in the shape of a ring. That kind of mineral deposit or water spotting is very easy to remove. You can use IGL Delete and uh, the product will then dissolve that mineral and you could wash it off and wipe it off. This here, however, has the second type of spotting, which is actually chemical etching. So something has gone onto this car at one point in time and has uh, whatever it was when it dried up has etched into the clear coat. Now when you have that kind of spotting, the only way to remove it is by abrasion. So unlike the mineral deposit which is sat on top of the, uh, the surface, this is actually etched into the surface, no different to a scratch and no different to uh, say like bird poo or bat poo. So we're going to go through the process with this, uh, with this car. We're going to, obviously we're doing our test panels now. And we're going to be trying to use different products and pads to see if we can fix it. Um, there is a another type of spotting which is actually chemical etching in a different way and that one um, comes back with heat so once you polish it up the car looks fantastic, gas out in the sun and the pores of the paint open up and the spots come back. Um, it's, I'm hoping it's not that because if it is that it is a very difficult um, de kind of defect to fix. Uh, Enver from Absolute Perfection in South Australia, I'd say, is the expert in resolving that one. And you have to use infrared uh, curing lamps and polish the car when it's piping hot. Uh, so when the pores of the paint have opened up, that's when you do the correction. But fingers crossed, we don't have to do this with this car. I'm going to stop the video. We're going to try our best to bring up this half of the bonnet or hood, if you're in America, as good as possible. And then we're going to peel off the tape and do a bit of a 50-50. So fingers crossed we're going to get a good result. This is not a test car, this is actually a customer's car. So we don't know what the, the result's going to be. The thickness of the paint is about 100 microns. Not too thin, but not thick enough for us to be comfortable with. Uh, but let's see how we go and we'll do another video once we've done that half of the bonnet. Okay, so now we have uh, carried out a 50-50 on the bonnet, or the hood if you're in America. Um, I'm quite pleased with how it came out. It's definitely not brand new, but as you can see, it is a huge difference um, compared to how it was. So this exact combination was IGL F1 cutting compound with the IGL microfiber cutting disc, and it took about three to four goes to get it to this level. Um, so I'm quite pleased with this, as uh, the owner would be, I'm sure, but. Um, sometimes we get messages and emails from customers saying hey the water spot remover is not working on my car um, you probably have the type 2 water spotting which is actually etching not not spotting uh, or spotting through chemical etching rather than a mineral deposit so we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the car um, generally speaking when it comes to this kind of damage it's on the on the surfaces that are horizontal <coughs> because that's where the liquids the chemicals and the water sits. Uh, generally speaking, the doors are not too bad in the guards because the water flows down, um, as we have found in this case. So the bonnet and the roof will be the worst, uh, and if it's a sedan, then the boot lid. But again, let's do a pan. So Michael, if you wanna start from this side and go all the way across. This is how the car was, and this is clayed and thoroughly washed. And then as you pan across, this is how it is now, um, which, has made a quite a big difference. Um, I would say it is a 95 to 98% improvement. Um, we don't want to go over the top with the cutting. 
at the end of the day, it's not worth risking burning through the paint um, to get that extra two to three percent, uh, especially when the customer is not booking for that service. We want to give the car back to the customer looking fantastic. So thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section or send us an email. Um, if you want us to do any more demonstrations or explain anything else in terms of paint or even interiors, just ask, we're more than happy to do more content for you. Uh, and thank you again, please subscribe to the Leading Edge YouTube channel.